Council Member Beckles. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, ah, okay. I, I, I have to say I'm, I'm, I'm a little, um, I, first of all, I appreciate all the speakers. I appreciate um, the respectful uh, dialogue that, that have, uh, the comments that, that uh, many of you uh, have made tonight. I appreciate the kids, really appreciate the kids and those adults uh, that work with the kids coming out here in support of this because you work with kids and you know you know the effects of, of exercise, of, of education around health. So I do appreciate your comments very much and your, your, your willingness to say, you know, I'll do whatever it takes because these are the kids are our future, you know, and, and you know, what money is, should be no object when it comes to helping them, to helping them be, be healthy. And so, I'm, 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 I'm a bit bothered, however, by, and, and, and quite frankly, feel ashamed by some of the, the questions, the questioning uh, around uh, the motive uh, of this, this item. You know, I'm bothered by the fact that some of us don't understand the fact that obesity is an epidemic in our community. It's an epidemic. That means it's out of control, particularly as it relates to our children. Um, it's, it's a serious issue. And, and someone said, it's not, it's, not a, it's not that big of a deal. It is a big deal. When you use the term epidemic, that is a big deal. You know, and, and I'm bothered by the fact that this epidemic affects us, blacks and Latinos, the most. So I would think that the African Americans on this council <coughs> um, would be the biggest champions of this item, rather than, than, than uh, opposing it with cynical questions. Um, you know, in Richmond, what I am so, so proud of is happening in Richmond is that we are attempting here, at least many of us are, and many of you out there are, are attempting and doing our very best to help build a healthy community. We're, we're hopeful that it can happen. We're hopeful that it is happening because we're seeing so many things change. And we're seeing these changes because of, of, of individuals on this council who are willing to think outside of the box. Because of individual, individuals who are saying, you know, what we've been doing in this city for a long time isn't working. So we gotta do things that are different. You know, why would anyone oppose building a healthy community, teaching our children the value of healthy eating. You know, why would anyone oppose this? I, I support this because I see the effects with the population that I work with. For those of you who don't know, I'm a children's mental health specialist. I work with children. I work with kids in the Iron Triangle. I work with kids in North Richmond. I work with kids all over Richmond. And I see the effects of them. I see mothers, I've seen that, Doria, I see mothers give babies soda. You know, I see it. I see kids who, have, who, who didn't have a chance to get a good breakfast in the morning, drinking soda, you know, having some chips. And so this is not, this is not a criticism or judgment on them. This is simply saying, you know, those of us who can afford to help the process along can do that. Um, I, I have so many thoughts, so please bear with me because I am quite emotional about this topic. I love kids, that's why I work with them. Um, I've seen, I've seen, I, 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 the reason that parents often give kids, even babies, sodas, it's because it's cheap, it's cheap. It's cheaper than milk. You know, it's cheaper than water even. You know, because they're you know, not gonna get it out of the tap. So to go and buy something healthy, unfortunately, is 
more uh, more expensive than giving them, you know, some soda. You know, people people are often afraid of new ideas. You know, um, fear, however, and I, and I get that everybody's afraid of change. Change happens, but it, it can be a scary thing. But are we really happy with where we are right now? Are we really happy with our children not having the resources that they need? Are we really happy there? Are we happy with with what where we've been as a city? Look at where we're going, and and I really believe that your you know your fear can be can be quelled by by knowing that we have opportunities to give our children hope. You know, fear keeps us stagnant. Fear gets nothing done. It keeps us as messed up as we've been. But if we say, you know what, I have faith. I have faith that we really can do better. That our children can have a future. I'd like to ask the audience to keep your voices down. If you want to have conversations, you please take them out of the chambers. Please continue, Councilman. Um, again, my thoughts, I have so many different thoughts, and I've lost that one, but I will come back to saying that this isn't about, this isn't about criticism. This is about helping to change deadly habits. I'm going to read uh, something here. Um, regarding, you know, will tax work? Because it isn't just about, you know, education and saying that, you know, let's change our unhealthy habits. It's also about creating resources that our children need. So, you know, uh, Mr. Mr. Micah, it's, it's not if or and, it's not a confusing message. It isn't saying, you know, one minute we're saying it's about, you know, helping uh, to reduce obesity and then the next minute we're saying we're building fields. No, it's about both because that's how it works. That's how, that's how, that's why cigarette tax works. And what I want to read here is it says, um, effective taxes do a lot more than cut consumption of a harmful product. They also generate funds that cities and states can then put toward preventive programs and other efforts to create healthier communities. For example, in 1988, California passed Prop 99. Put a 25 cent tax on, on a pack of cigarettes. The money was used for a lot of things, including media campaign and programs to help people stop smoking. 11 years later, smoking rates have gone down faster than anywhere else in the country. And the reason it worked was because it was twofold. It helped reduce the consumption and coupled with programs to, to help. So we're talking about sports fields. We're talking about, uh, you know, perhaps even uh, reinstating programs in schools. All of these things have been cut because, just because of, of state, uh, the state, the county, the, you know, city, uh, it, lack, of, lack of funds. But wow, what can we, how can we help? We can, we can contribute. It really makes a difference when we contribute to our own, our own issues, our own programs. You know, things aren't going to get better. The county right now, I work, I work for the county. Right now, there's a proposal to, to cut, uh, cut salaries, to cut programs, to cut a lot of different things that, that helps us as a community. So why do we think that, you know, things are going to get better without us? We have to contribute. We, we can do this together, but we got to do it together. And we are not going to do it when we, we bring up race issues, when we, when we are cynical uh, about what can work. The only way we know if it will work is if we do it. Um, so Richmond, I just wanna, I, I implore you. I just, I, I want to employ us to, to move forward with ideas to help ourselves. I, there, there isn't, there isn't, as I said, there's, there isn't money for everything, but if we, if we all chip in, we can all have all that we need. A healthy community, and resources for our kids. That's all I have to say, Marianne. Thank you.